This is the tenth video in a series intended to help you find records about your ancestors who lived in Italy by using the features in the Family Search Research Wiki. In this lesson, you'll be learning how to write to a local church for a baptism, marriage, or burial record. Right now, relatively few church records are available in digital form. And so to access the church records, you'll have to write a lot of letters. Find your province page by going to the Italy main page and scrolling down to the appropriate province. Here is the Italy genealogy main page. Select the province that you need. Every province page has a church records section. Scroll down to that section and you will find first any information on records that are online. Secondly, you can click on this link for the province, find the commune you're interested in, and see whether any church records are available for that commune. You'll want to make this quick check for records before you write a letter unnecessarily. From any Italy province page, in the table of contents, you can go to the section Writing to a Catholic Priest for Church Records. Here you will find the standard address that you would use to send a letter to a church. The letter will still get there if you omit the street address and just use the postal code and the city and the abbreviation for the province. However, you may find an actual address in this Catholic directory. Also check the Catholic directory to see if the town or city had more than one parish. You might have to send a preliminary letter to each parish. Then you will go to this Italy letter writing guide. There's a lot of introductory material that I suggest that you read, particularly information on how to send money and return postage through the mail. Jumping to this section, how to write a letter in Italian, you will find a basic outline. I have copied this outline into a word processor where I will build the letter piece by piece. First, you will want to put the date in Italian. You can actually just highlight and copy anything that you need and paste it into your letter. Next, I need the name and address. I showed you earlier how to get that. Next, we are looking for the greeting. This greeting you use for writing to a church. Next, we will write a brief introduction. You are introducing yourself and your interest in genealogy, that your ancestors came from that town, that you're now going to give information about the person that you're looking for. There is our introduction. Next, we will give as much biographical information as we know about the relative we are inquiring about. The letter writing guide provides several options. I'm just going to select name, birth date, birthplace, and father's name in this case. Next, we will give details on exactly what it is we're asking for. In the letter writing guide, you will find different requests. I'm going to use number seven and ask them to check their birth registers for her birth, and number eight, asking them to send me a complete extract of the birth record. I am going to use number 15 and ask them to let me know if it's possible to get a photocopy and what that would cost. It's better to just ask for a small amount of information. Next is the referral request. Here we ask them, if you don't have the necessary records, please tell me where they are. If you're unable to do the search, please recommend somebody. Next, you need to discuss payment. You can either enclose some money the first time, or you can ask them to advise you on how they wish to be paid. Finally, we do closing remarks where we thank them in advance and say sincerely, sign it and give your return address. It will be easy for you, with the help of the Family Research Wiki, to write a letter in Italian to get the records that you need. Now you try it. Figure out if you need a birth, marriage, or death certificate and try your hand at writing a letter using the Italian Letter Writing Guide.